So, Fred Beard, who I nicknamed because he has an obsession with glam rock Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact and it's totally science. Go ahead and look it up. <laughs> Today we're diving back into r slash tales of neckbeards. A little bit more of a one-off thing today. I said yesterday we were going to do Unfortunate Nookie, uh, but that one's pretty long. My editor is going away to celebrate the new year, and uh, I figured I'd give him just a little short one that he can work with and hopefully get transferred to me relatively easy. So I guess we'll see how it goes, uh, depending on if you see this before or after the Georgia Beard compilation. <laughs> so that might be coming tomorrow, or it might have already come yesterday. But regardless, I am glad to see you here, friends. I am glad that you have made it into the new year. We have spent an entire year together. That is absolutely massive. We've had over 5 million views this year. It's like 2 million hours of watch time. Just uh, <laughs> some mind-blowing stuff. Uh, 16,000 subscribers, which means that, yes, most of our growth has happened in 2021, and I am so grateful for it. I set a goal. <laughs> we were at like 3 or 4K when we went into 2021, and I was like, hey, if I could get, uh, you know, 10K subscribers, that would be cool. We have absolutely smashed that goal 100% and it's all thanks to you guys. We almost hit 20k. We almost doubled it, which uh, I was really hoping for, but nah, it, it didn't happen. I just got to be happy for the 10. This is my life and I am so freaking grateful for it, you guys. So uh, I, I just can't say it enough. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so very much for making this channel what it is today. And uh, today, I guess we're uh, going to do this little shorty short, so let's go ahead, we'll jump on into it, get some plugs and disclaimers out of the way, and then we will dive into some tales of Neckbeard's Cringe. <laughs> Furry Neckbeard wants me to make him a new, uh, toy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We're jumping into the new year with both feet, I'm gonna tell you that. Both barrels, buddy, coming right out the gate. We're gonna cringe our way into the new year. This is heavy. <laughs> Already, it's heavy. So, uh, hello, y'all. Hi, Red X. Yo, what's up? Oh, you know, just heading into 2022, uh, looking back on the best year of my life. How you doing, user knight of the cacti? <laughs> Thanks for uh, contributing your story. Let me be your storyteller, the chivalrous sir of the stabby. Oh, we don't, we don't, we can't do that anymore. <laughs> Those words have all been corrupted. But yes, Knight of the Cacti, or just Cacti for short. I'm a pretty zen horror bro who takes commissions in the arts and crafts department. This story, while possibly still ongoing, is just too good not to share. Possibly still ongoing. Oh, God. I don't know if I can handle a second dose of this one. <laughs> My tolerance is pretty high, but um, yeah, this is this is a lot to take in. At the time of this post, our beard in question, because yes, he does have a beard. He sent me a picture where it is visible. Is it like a nice beard? No, it can't be. <laughs> it's neck stubble. He is still very pouty because I fell back on my number one commission rule when it comes to my art. No fetish or NSFW stuff. No exceptions. So I'm not sure if this could become more or not. I do hope he rears his curly brown locks again just because I really want to know if the spots in them were indeed lice or just giant dandruff. Or coom flakes, some dried up coom falling from his beard like snowfall. Oh, it's so festive. Tis the season! <laughs> God! Uh, I'm not sure that's a good enough reason to want him to come back around just to study the amalgamation of garbage and <laughs> festeration that's in his beard. Suffice to say, it's disgusting, alright? I don't need to know any more than that. <laughs> anyway, it all started a few days ago when I saw that I had a new message from an unknown account on Instagram. Now, I don't automatically accept new chats, so 
Whoever wants to talk to me has to wait like the good little cryptids that they usually are. The fandoms that usually place the most orders are usually sci-fi or mech related. I've 3D meshed some Transformers and Gundams and even Pacific Rim Jaeger before, but this fine specimen of a customer comes right out of the pot that is the FNAF fandom. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's uh, Five Nights at Freddy's for those out of the loop. And for those out of the loop, please take me with you. <laughs> I don't want to know about this anymore. Ah. All right. <laughs> We're a pretty chill bunch, but alas, every place has, uh, those people. On a whole, um, yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of chill people in, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's and Undertale fandoms, but as a whole, the, the loudest ones have ruined it for all of you guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you know. I can't sign off on any of this. So, Fred Beard, who I nickname because he has an obsession with glam rock Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> uh, Alright. He, he indeed has a very gay obsession with the fictional orange plastic teddy. Emphasis on the gay part. Yeah, we got that. You, you don't have to press on the gas so hard. <laughs> Even though I can just look up our chats whenever I want, I'm gonna edit Fred's post a little to get rid of all the grammar and spelling issues. I mean, my own grammar and spelling isn't that stellar, but it has to be at least understandable, I guess. I doubt anyone would want to read, read, read words double when, like, letters are out of uh, place, right? <laughs> are you doing this to make a point? Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> it does make it a lot harder. When the channel first started, we used to have to, like, scrape the bottom of the barrel and find stories that, uh, sometimes were not the most well-written things. We haven't read, like, a truly trash story in the longest time. <laughs> I gotta be super grateful for that, man. One of these days, though, I should go digging and find one of those old horribly written stories just for old times sake you know so we could rip on it even harder than we would have a year ago <laughs> just know your roots type of stuff right but yeah i do thank you for uh cleaning up the spelling and whatnot there op that makes me <laughs> i mean i'll probably still lose my sanity during this story a little bit but it does make me happy it makes it easier to read at the very least so uh saturday 1225-2021. Oh, this is Christmas Beard. <laughs> he wanted to buy himself something special for Christmas. Hey. <laughs> uh, Fred Beard says, Hello. Are your commission slots open? I'd like to request one of the advanced models. Oh, are you, you doing modeling and all that stuff too? Maybe I need to hit you up, OP. I got a VTuber avatar that was made in Vroid that I plan to use for streams and stuff like that, but it's pretty basic at the moment. Maybe you could like spice it up or something like that. I'll send you a message. Maybe you hit me up in Discord. We, we should touch base is all I'm saying. Uh, OP says, ah, sorry, I'm on break right now, but I'll open back up after the holidays. Fred Beard. Oh, well. Uh, can I just place my order now, and you do the work later? I have the money. Uh, I can pay up front. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take your money, but <laughs> you should be pretty wary when somebody doesn't describe the project at all. They're just like, agree to it. Here's all the money. It's like, no, no, no. <laughs> Bump the brakes. Tell me what the project is about first. <laughs> oh. OP says, uh, I guess so. Uh-oh. <laughs> sure, what would you like? I need to know if I can actually do it before I accept the project. Fred says, here, and sends a link to his Fur Affinity account. Uh, this is my Five Nights at Freddy's original character. Uh, I want him to be a 3D model uh, so I can use him in VR chat to roleplay. <laughs> uh, he'd be $180, right? Damn, that is a steal, bro. 
I'm <laughs> definitely hopping on this. As soon as OP opens commissions again, I'm gonna be like, hey, I already have a model rigged. I just need you to spice it up. I'll still pay you the 180 too. Cause I'm a nice guy. Not like nice guy TM. <laughs> a good guy. <laughs> now, I love OCs. I have my own for the sake of, you know, having them. Creativity and all that jazz. This, this was not OC. <laughs> this was Glam Rock Freddy with a giant bulge between his plastic legs and a hole in his butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're killing me! <laughs> we can all imagine what that would be used for, right? I mean, I ass assume. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Oh, uh, I have my own OC too. He pops up every time I talk, but. <laughs> What if I just totally ripped off something from popular media and gave it a big old dong? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's my OC. It's Pikachu with a boner. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> uh, uh, OP says, dude, that is the official design. I cannot legally make and sell this, Fredbeard. What? No, this is my OC. Uh, Felix isn't Freddy, you see. He's made for an adults-only location of the pizzeria. And he can be used by guests to, uh, have a really good time. Uh, he's quite good at it, too. Lol. <laughs> God. <laughs> Well, I hate everything about this. It's like Chuck E. Cheese with animatronic prostitutes. It's gonna be huge! <laughs> Until somebody gets their junk caught in the rusty gears. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, my suspension of disbelief is strong, but not strong enough for an adult pizzeria chain. <laughs> uh, I was staring at that text for about 10 minutes or so. Honestly, I didn't even realize that my brain had farted itself into next week. <laughs> and who could blame you, OP? This is like some high tier cringe. Top tier cringe. <laughs> I only came back to awareness when Fred blew up my phone with a barrage of texts that all asked me if I was still there. And if I could answer, and when could I start on his commission? Never. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Me? Oh, no. I didn't want to do this at all. But how does one get out of a situation like this? With two letters. <laughs> N-O. <laughs> oh, the most obvious way would be to just say, No. <laughs> you got it and delete block ignore the chat. With people like Fred, however, yeah, things were rarely that clean cut simple. I think you're complicating this for yourself, bro. If we do a commission together, I want you to tell me straight. I respect straight shooters and hard workers, all right? I'm having trouble with this. I think this part's bullshit. I don't really want to deal with that. No, 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 it's fine to say that. You obviously know the limitations of something like this a lot more than some neckbeard that just crawled out of the woodwork, right? <laughs> so no is fine. Instead, OP says, Sorry, I had to check the door real quick. I lied. Oh no. Don't ever lie to people who's paying you. I mean, he hasn't paid yet. <laughs> but still, that's bad business. Worse business than just saying no straight up. OP says, hey, So when can you start? I need him for a uh, role play with a friend. Uh, <laughs> OP, I'm not sure. I'd need to check some legal documents first and then read up on what a VR chat model actually needs to be. You can't just slap something in a game and expect it to work. I'm not sure that I can even do this since I've never even worked with VR chat before. Another lie. He didn't need to know about that one. 
Fred. I, I can pay you extra. I'll give you $250 and you make them for me. <laughs> He's really desperate, bro. Like, with this type of time and money, you could learn to make it for yourself. I made a very basic VTube model in one afternoon with Vroid Studio. I just needed to find out, like, what the program was called to make it. Some quick YouTube tutorials, they're like, yeah, Vroid, drag it into Unity, change up this and that. I'm like, okay, cool. Now I've got a model. Still kind of look like crap, because I'm <laughs> not very artsy, but at least it's something. I could totally take it into VR chat and pretend to have somebody do me in the butt if I wanted to. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. <laughs> so uh, that was a statement from Fred. The original text had no punctuation, but it was clear that this man had already made up his mind. He would get me to accept his lewd off-brand model commission one way or the other money talks buddy <laughs> before i could reply with yet another attempt to eel my way out of this mess he sent yet another shocker fred uh, his butthole needs to be meshed too <laughs> stop it uh, oh god dude it, it needs to be the right size for this to work <laughs> And then he inserts a link to a mod for furry wags. <laughs> God, dude. This is too deep. No amount of money is worth this, honestly. No block delete move on. <laughs> it's the only way to escape. Now you're in a hell of your own making. <laughs> for 250 bucks? No, dude. <laughs> Not in this life. A uh, deep sigh from OP. Uh, you know I only do safe for work commissions, right? Fred, uh, aren't you over 18? <laughs> OP, that has nothing to do with my commissions. Yes, I'm a legal adult, but no, I don't want to do NSFW commissions. It's written right into my TOS, Fred. Uh, no way! <laughs> you just edited that! No, you didn't read it, friend. <laughs> OP, look, why don't you just download a Freddy model and edit it yourself? Or look on the web. I don't do that kind of work. Yeah, I'm sure they got plenty of nice Freddy models, you know? And, and when you and your friend go to play, you could just like slip it between your legs or something and play pretend. That's what roleplay is all about, <laughs> isn't it? It's all about playing pretend. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Notice how my voice goes up a couple octaves when it's definitely not fine. <laughs> no, yeah, I love how that's going. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> uh, now, I know a lot of you will probably tell me that I'm stupid for refusing $250. And yeah, maybe I am, but I have my reasons for not doing it. Up until we talked about the butthole mesh, I would have fallen on that side of the coin, but now I see where you're coming from, and yeah, no amount of money is worth this. <laughs> Getting into bed with this beard out? Nah, I'm good, dude. I'll get my money somewhere else. Thanks. <laughs> I have reasons, and these are reasons that I don't want to talk about. So, Fred thankfully didn't go down that path, and just went back to begging me to take on his commission. It went on for a bit, and hell, I could ignore that at least. My plan was just to wait until he got bored and then delete the chat for my own sanity. You know, the block button's right over there. <laughs> then came the little straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, neck beardy dick pig. <laughs> uh, it was his own that he wanted to attach to the model. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't like this at all. A hairy, crusty specimen. <laughs> Maybe the saddest wiener that I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> it was softly and depressively hanging limp in a sweaty paw, while the other held the camera at such an angle that I could see a mess behind this blob of a person. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Ugh, this is the heaviest part. This is that good soul cringe. <laughs> the mattress that he sat on looked older than myself, while the pillow consisted of more bed bugs than stuffing. <laughs> uh, it was the stereotype, and honestly, I was having a blast. I found one in the wild. <laughs> this was amazing. And your first thought was to catalog it and bring it to Red X Industries, which is a good move, honestly, but you still want to be careful, all right? Now that you have your photo evidence, your proof, hit the block button, please. <laughs> OP, what the hell is wrong with you? Leave me alone. That's not appropriate. No, I will definitely not accept your commission. Fred, hey, come on. I could give you a good time. <laughs> with that? <laughs> I don't think so, bro. Nobody's interested in that. <laughs> OP, first of all, I'm European. And adding to that, I'm not even gay. I like women. And you certainly aren't one of them. <laughs> and most importantly, what the hell did you think that this would accomplish? Did you really honestly think that I would jump up and accept this? What were you thinking? <laughs> Fred, relax. It was just an offer. Jeez, loosen up, dude. <laughs> it's like somebody walking up to you with a, a sack full of human feces and saying, hold this. Okay, it's yours now. And you're like, what? No. <laughs> No, I don't want this. And he's like, eh, it was just an offer. <laughs> it's a bag of poop. This has no value to anyone. <laughs> Much like your crusty dong. <laughs> uh, get out. Get out. Get out of my DMs. <laughs> I'm dying, dude. It's so good. <laughs> Loosen up, dude. Ah. <sighs> At that time, I had already backed out of the chat, and I was looking for a way to report him for harassment. And then I realized that, uh, I could milk this. Bad choice <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> it's the worst choice of words ever. He was relatively harmless, and my morbid sense of dark humor sensed a potential source of schadenfreude. That's what this whole channel is based on, really. <laughs> if I really reported this guy, he would be gone. And was that peace and quiet really worth the lack of cringe? Uh, making the hard decisions. <laughs> I'll take peace and quiet, honestly. But that's mostly because I have a whole subreddit of researchers going out there in the world and bringing me back the most quality, <laughs> highest tier cringe ever. Freddy Fazbear's butt. <laughs> oh, God. Fred, uh, so about my commission. <laughs> if you can't model him, uh, could you at least edit the official model for me? Uh, please, I need it for my role play. <laughs> Can you edit the official model? It's really not that hard to do, honestly. Like I said, if you're so dedicated, you can learn it yourself in an afternoon. Uh, OP just says, sorry, I gotta go to bed. It's already really late, and I need to get up early tomorrow. We live in different time zones, remember? No, poor unfortunate Fred. I can't let you go that easily. <laughs> of course, I added the laugh for, you know, my own little spice to the ending. This dude seems really like double plus dumb can't take a hint. Where did he get $250? <laughs> Is this mommy's money? Did somebody actually hire this dude? He's got a deep, dark side that the people at the grocery store don't know about. <laughs> He's just standing there stocking the shelves, thinking about Freddy Fazbear's meshed butthole. <laughs> uh, holy hell, man. Part of me hoped that this continues. Part of me never wants to see or think about it ever again. <laughs> I'm just so conflicted. Holy hell, OP. 
this does also make me think that maybe I shouldn't be blocking people as quick as I do. If I get like sus vibes, I'm just like, I don't really want to deal with it. But maybe if I waited it out, if I just, you know, trolled like uh, the fishing line a little bit, <laughs> reel them in, give them some, some distance, reel them back in a little further, that we could really farm up some good cringe. But, you know, truth be told, I don't really have the time or the mental energy, so it is what it is. Uh, I just have to depend on other people to deliver me the cringe, and then I shall distribute it to the masses. <laughs> I am but a humble vessel, friends. And I can't get it out anymore without making his leg all weird. <laughs> huh? Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night. Fred Beard, part two. I think it's supposed to be Fred Beard, but you can't edit titles on Reddit. It's like one of the weaknesses. <laughs> the glory of a misplaced hole. <laughs> God, I love that title, honestly. It's quite evocative. Hello, hi, user Knight of the Cacti. It's me again. The same zen horror bro who likes the stabby things. Stabby things being cacti, I presume. It is yours truly, cacti, indeed. I didn't expect to be back so soon, but uh, here we are. Ready for round two because Fred indeed came back to... Uh, uh, just read the story. No spoilers. <laughs> okay, if you insist. We learned from Bourgeois Beard yesterday that I don't like spoilers none too much. Just let the cringe wash over me. I don't want to see it. Just dump it. <laughs> don't let me know what's coming. I'm also censoring some things here to keep Uncle Red X from being harassed by Susan. Oh, yeah, it's Suze. Big Suze. It's Suze. Big Suze is here. I'm sure Big Suze is really invested in what's going on with this channel. She's like, oh, that guy, he's an up and comer. And I'm like, yup, yup, you know it. <laughs> She doesn't actually like what I call her Big Sus, but uh, I don't know how to pronounce her friggin' last name, so. <laughs> it is what it is. You know, YouTube is harsh nowadays, and our lab coat wearing trooper needs to eat too. Yeah, and my family, and my in laws, and, and my editor's family. I'm supporting a bunch of families with this YouTube money, so I apologize for the ads and all that kind of stuff, but. It allows me to do what I love most, and that is bringing you the cringe. So thank you for supporting me in this endeavor. Pretty sure Red's not living off photosynthesis yet, or do you? Uh, if I could learn, that'd be fine. I do synthesize the uh, ground up chicken tenders and Cheetos that we feed to the beards in the cages, but you know, that's neither here nor there. That's just to keep costs down. I don't actually want to eat that stuff myself. <laughs> now, let me say here, and now, that even though they are beards, no matter if neck or leg, most of them have the potential to get better and grow out of their, uh, habits. Yeah, that hope always remains. <laughs> Sometimes it's dashed to the ground, but I try to stay hopeful. Fred here surprised me when one of his daily, Hey, are you there? messages suddenly turned out to be a, I tried to do it myself and need help. Hey, now there's something. I'm more than happy to help you out if you're trying to do it for yourself, right? I think I ground that point into the ground on the first video. With as much time as you spend complaining, you could probably just learn to do it. <laughs> and so he did. I'm shocked, but uh, pleasantly surprised as well. So far, I had just ignored Fred Beard. Muted the chat, put restrictions on his account, you know the drill. But this was something that I simply couldn't ignore. Yeah, morbid curiosity got the better of me too today. <laughs> I identify with that quite heavily. So on Sunday, the 2nd of January, 2022, I thought to myself, do these guys really even ask for help? Am I suddenly in the twilight zone? Somehow, it did make me really happy to see that he wasn't just sitting on his bubble butt all day. Now, I still would not make that nasty character thing for him. There's no way that I would make an exception to my no dirty stuff rule after all of that went down in part one, but I couldn't help but feeling a little bit proud that he would even try. And, oh god, 
Did he try? <laughs> Tell me all about it. He sent me a screenshot without me asking first. Of course, why would he ask? It was a Blender screenshot. My personal 3D program of choice and a good option for beginners because it's free. And said screenshot was indeed of a Glamrock Freddy model, probably ripped right from the game files, with a hole all the way through with a digital wanker stuck inside his leg. <laughs> way to go, superstar! <laughs> you almost had it, buddy. <laughs> Why is it in his leg? We'll come back to that piece of equipment later, but first comes the literal shotgun-sized bit of nothingness that went from Freddy's butt to his abdomen. Yeah, that's the mesh b-hole we was talking about earlier, isn't it? <laughs> how did you fail to get these things in the right place? Does this beard not know how anatomy works? <laughs> Fred says, I, I need help. It's stuck! <laughs> uh, and I can't get it out anymore without making his leg all weird. <laughs> uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night. Uh, just add another one, I guess. I don't know what to tell you, man. OP says, what did you do? How did you manage to cut all the way through him? Cacti's 3D Guide for Dummies and Beginners. Hey, that's me. Everybody pay attention. Materials in 3D are exactly what you would think. You have your object, and said object has one, two, or even multiple materials. If you want to drill your glory hole through only one of these, you have to separate it from the others first. What I'm guessing is that Fred here was far too eager and chose to ignore the part of the process in favor of, you know, just going for it. <laughs> well, I'm glad that he made a hole. I don't know why it's a big deal where it goes or anything like that. Like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Maybe this beard should just dump that project file in the trash and start fresh with another model and see what you've learned <laughs> through your mistakes. That's what I'd suggest, but of course, uh, he doesn't want to actually learn, at least not properly. He wants somebody to do all this crap for him. So Fred says, I, I don't know. Please fix him for me, or tell me how to fix him. I need him for my roleplay. <laughs> <laughs> this roleplay has been planned for a week at this point, and at a certain point, I think that, uh, Fredbeard's partners is gonna find somebody else to roleplay with and wouldn't that be a tragedy? <laughs> Cacti Well, what did you do? Knowing your steps would help and I'm still not accepting not safe for work commissions But I think I can help you with some advice Fred I watched a tutorial on YouTube and the guy in there said to use bully. Oh no <laughs> Fred, so I made a cylinder in him the size of my willy, and I pushed it into Felix's butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, luckily, all this is just happening in Blender, but it's still ridiculously gross. It came out all the way, and now he has a hole in his stomach, too. For newcomers... Glamrock Freddy with, uh, extra assets is apparently Fredbeard's OC, that is, original character. Not so original, though. <laughs> and really, I don't know how any of this stuff works, but it is pretty cool that we can learn a little something alongside our cringe, isn't it? We're getting the science done today, I tell you what. So, indeed, you could look right through the poor bear bot. Boolean works like a cookie cutter. You take a thing, place it somewhere, and tell the program to just nuke everything in the space that said thing is occupying. What Fred has done here uh, basically ruined his entire model. Fixing it would be a long and tedious process done by hand and nothing else. There is no magical fix to get it back. 
All you can do is load a backup model or start fresh. I think anybody who works on computers has been there before, and yeah, it sucks, but just put your head down, nose to the grindstone, do what you gotta do, you know? I gotta redo the whole thing? Okay, I guess I'll redo the whole thing. But considering that hopefully you've learned something from the last attempt, this attempt might go a little bit faster. Who knows? But I'm glad that OP isn't just gonna step in and do this thing for him. The, the learning continues. Cacti says, you made a failsafe, right? Like some sort of copy? A backup? Fred? Uh, no. <laughs> just great. Always make backups, kitties. That goes for everything. Even your homework, and especially your 45 gigabyte homework folder. And indeed I have. I have all of the videos that have been published on this channel saved to the hard drive. <laughs> I re-downloaded them from YouTube, so they're kind of compressed and, you know, probably don't look that great for a re-upload. But if the channel goes down, I do have a backup. <laughs> so, uh, rest safe. All the cringe is right here with me. Cacti. Yeah, so that model's just completely trashed. You would need to fix mesh and UV by hand, and I can promise you that UV will be a nightmare, so just go download a new one and start all over. This time, separate his butt by selecting all the vertices. <laughs> Press Control V and then P, and hit selection to make a new object out of it. And that way, this won't happen again. Merge everything later into one mesh, and then you're all good. Are you following? Gosh, man, I should really pop open Blender one of these days. This sounds like some good stuff to know, doesn't it? <laughs> Especially with the sort of work that I do. Ooh, I could make my VTuber model shine. And I don't even want to give him a wang or a b-hole, so we're, we're like basically halfway there already. <laughs> uh, Fred says, uh, I can't do any of that, though. OP, why? Fred? You see that dick model? <laughs> <laughs> the one stuck in his leg? I sure do, buddy. <laughs> I made it myself. <laughs> Excellent job. Now please press the buttons on Freddy's ball sack. This will help you calibrate his phaser blaster. <laughs> Is this real life? Ugh. Uh, I need it. If I start all over, it'll be gone, and I can't make it a second time. <laughs> I bet you could, though. Cacti, why not? Or just export it, dude. That can be done, too, if you really want to keep it. Fred, <sighs> but I need it in this file. It's mine. I can't use another. It needs to be mine. What the hell are you talking about, dude? <laughs> Isn't it like in paint where you just cut something and slap it into another paint project? Basically that, but with 3D models? Am I simplifying it too much? Or just remove the wang from the leg and destroy the entire bear, and then you can import the bear model, and <laughs> you'll have the wang right there. It doesn't really seem that difficult, unless you're a neckbeard, I guess. Now. I did say that we would be talking about this, uh, piece of meaty equipment again. It was... interesting. <laughs> you know those old photo skin, low resolution models that really early console games used? This was one of those, and the texture Fred used was of his very own. Oh, oh no! Uh, Jesus, dude. Was it all angular and cube shaped? No, don't tell me actually. <laughs> I don't need that kind of nightmare fuel. He just slapped the picture of his own wang on top of a poor pile of vertex haphazardly so that you could see the seams and the texture stretch. And maybe that was why he was so attached to the thing. <laughs> yeah, he's attached to it in real life too, unfortunately. Anyway, said thing was just uh, another catastrophe in itself. Fred had managed to put on the right height on axis Z, 
But Chef did a little to the side so that the sorry excuse of a cream cheese splitting noodle was clipping through Freddy's upper leg. <laughs> if you wanted to, you could kind of use it to plug up the accidental hole from the front. <laughs> Easy solution, drag and drop, baby. <laughs> but I think Fredbeard's a bit more of a backdoor kind of guy. Besides, I've been told plug and play was something else entirely. Yeah, I guess just leave people's imagination to chew on that one. Separating it would again be tedious, but not impossible. I told him how to do it again, and in roughly two hours, we freed the willy from the evil grasp of Glamrock Freddy's evil thick thigh. <laughs> I'm not sure whether to be grateful or completely horrified. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. <laughs> now, I just had to convince him to export it so he could start all over. Oh good, this was my solution. I feel like a big brain boy now. Given that Fred was stubborn as a mule and had the attention span of a goldfish, all that was easier said than done. Harmless he may be, but, oh my god, a preschooler is easier to work with. <laughs> Do you think that he really wants this? Suddenly his attention span would perk up if this is something that he truly felt that he needed, right? <laughs> Come on, put in a little bit of effort. OP is going like way above and beyond. And I don't even know if I could say that Fredbeard is that innocent, that innocuous, that harmless, because OP is now glancing at pictures of his wang that he never wanted to see in the first place, helping to free it from a 3D model that he's not even being commissioned for. This is an absolute mess. Somebody needs to go smack Fredbeard right in the mouth with a heavy dose of reality. And the reality is, this is not okay. None of this is okay. Fred? Eh, can't I just delete Felix and import a new one? That way I can keep my penis in there. <laughs> oh god, he really wants to keep his wag in that file, I'll tell you what. OP? I mean, it could work, dude. Just make sure to delete everything and import a format that supports the rig. Fredbeard has obviously no idea what the hell I'm talking about and proceeds to load a new Blender file with the original unedited Freddy model. What? No! <laughs> Are you listening to me? Can you repeat back to me what I said? Can you explain to me the steps while you're doing them? Or do you just have no idea what's going on and we're wasting everybody's time here? Never mind, I know the answer. <laughs> And then Fredbeard sent me a series of blurry screenshots of the perfectly fine and safe for work model that he had just loaded in. Fred? It's gone! And now I don't have a dick anymore! <laughs> oh my fastballs! Oh! Uh. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Damn it! I needed that for my rope! <laughs> Fuck! Uh, oh my god, you're killing me, dude. OP, <laughs> just make a new one again. It's still your own if you make it, right? Fred? No, it's not! It's not that simple! Please, Cacti, could we recover it somehow? Ugh, what is this wee business? I'm not even being paid for this. Leave me alone. <laughs> what are you gonna drop the hammer on this dude? You have already been far too patient. Ugh, but OP's a nice guy. <laughs> and he says, uh, you still have the old file, right? Well, open that one up. It should still be there. And then he sent me a very happy and relieved, ah, my dick! <laughs> with exactly two full smile emojis. I knew that this little thing had just made this man's day. It's a miracle, your wiener is back. <laughs> well, thank God for that. I sure was worried about the fate that befell this beard's wang. 
His digital wang. Oh god. <laughs> this series. Honestly, I hope it never ends. Fred. Uh, so what now? How do I export? I won't go into detail because, quite frankly, this is the boring part. Fred tried his best to listen and learn as much as he could over text. I tried to answer his questions as long as they weren't, uh, lewd. He did ask a few times where he could find a tool or a function. Honestly, he was just slow at learning, and hey, that's cool. I love helping people. We did get the wiener exported <laughs> and re-imported into a new file. Yes, I told him to make a new backup, which he did. It still looked like a crooked, pixelated bratwurst. <laughs> but at least Fred Beard was happy. Now that everything was in separate materials, he could finish the job without me. And I got my good feels for helping someone out. Good day overall. Fred? Uh, so, can you help me fix Monty tomorrow? <laughs> my friend needs him for our roleplay. <laughs> Uh, uh, F my life. <laughs> I love this series so much. Uh, and he indeed asked me to have a look at Montgomery Gator, but since this is the first character his friend wants to roleplay as, we decided to wait and get said friend's input first. He should be ready to join us for part three of this merry tale around next Friday. Oh God, and what day is it? <laughs> dun, dun, dun! This post was made eight days ago, so as you are watching it, OP is probably making a butthole for Montgomery Gator. <laughs> uh, what could be greater than golf with a gator? <laughs> God damn, dude. Uh, well, I do get the slightest bit frustrated about how nice OP is about the whole thing. The fact that we get to relive all this cringe. He's coming delivering this... <laughs> this delicious golden cringe on a silver platter for all of us. I mean, I can't begrudge him for that. <laughs> I hope he continues to help them forever. It'll probably lose its magic a little bit after like the fifth or sixth character model that he makes. But the fact that I get to learn a little bit about Blender put Freddy Fazbear on the thumbnail, and cringe about b-holes and wieners. <laughs> I mean, that's like a magical trifecta, isn't it? <laughs> this is hand-delivered by the cringe gods. Holy heck, dude. I love it. Every time I read this Fred Beard story, it almost kills me, but that ain't gonna stop me anytime soon. <laughs> I will put myself through it because it makes my freaking face hurt. Can we make it so that Monty's stomach inflates when Fred's feeling bangs him from behind? Oh no. <laughs> it's time to release my gator dump! <gasps> Fred Bear Fazbeard, part three. Totally blown out of proportion. <laughs> yeah, which part of him? Are we talking about his dong again? Uh, don't answer that. <laughs> I'm not actually curious. All right, I hear you. The hive mind has decided that Fred needs a surname, so who am I to argue with y'all? It's Fazbeard from now on. <laughs> Listen to the community. That's important. I really like this OP now. Listening to the community. Yes, that is ultra important. This OP just won like a hundred brownie points in my book. <laughs> Thank you for reading the comments and uh, providing some feedback. But OP does stipulate, although, please do not blame me if Fazbeard gets excited by this name. That is a you problem. Totally not my fault, yo. <laughs> please, don't make me think about such things. I don't know if I have the stomach for it today. So, uh, hey, uh, hi, use the Knight of the Cacti. It's me, your Zen Horror Bro Cacti, and I'm back for round three of this horror show. <laughs> it's more like a jump scare show, at least the game is. I guess this tale is, <laughs> is a horror show in the purest sense. Can we possibly make our dear red wheeze for a solid five seconds this time? Let's try. 
<laughs> that wasn't too good. That was like a second and a half. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to let it happen naturally. How about that? This one's a bit late because the Faz Beard apparently doesn't understand what the hell a vacation is or is supposed to be. Maybe he has simply just not left his cave for so long that he forgot. Yeah, man, well, your whole life's a vacation? Whatever. <laughs> anyway, player number three is Faz Beard's friend who was away for, I don't know, like a week with his family. Fred just forgot about that detail when he mentioned next Friday. And I only found out because they made a group chat today. So yes, this is fresh. A neck beard not keeping their word? Yeah, I guess I probably should have, should have seen that one coming. They're not the most timely of people, don't you know? Monty and Fred honestly were a match made in heaven. They both knew what they wanted and how all of this was supposed to play out. <laughs> but why not uh, involve OP with the fun, right? They told me in our newly created group chat that they had been role-playing via classic text for years now and only started to get into the whole VR chat business when Monty saw the new game come out. Oh, God. <laughs> I gotta be straight up and just say I've never been a fan of the Five Nights at Freddy's series. I've probably even mentioned that a couple of times on the channel before. But this just takes my dislike to a whole new level. <laughs> I'm sorry for the hardcore fans out there, but it, it's just getting ruined. <laughs> I can't look at it now without seeing this. Now, there's one more thing that I want to address. I call Fred Fazbeard harmless because nobody is seriously getting hurt by him. Yeah, I'm torturing myself because I'm zen enough to deal with it, and I do get a serious kick out of watching cringy things in the same way that I enjoy eating fresh onions. Oh, you barbarian! <laughs> fresh onions? You bite into it like an apple? You savage? <laughs> Oh comes. my god! Half the brownie points you gained, you just lost them! <laughs> Tread carefully! Uh, so foul! However, the reality of this whole mess is that I have my Instagram inactive. Since I have a business account there, I cannot make it private. And Fred is determined that for every account I block, he just makes a new one until I eventually just give up. <laughs> God damn it, dude. That definitely doesn't seem like uh, relatively harmless behavior to me. What if there's somebody he's harassing that's not uh, quote-unquote zen enough to deal with it? You know what I'm saying? I don't like him. I don't trust him. Isn't there a feature on Instagram that like filters your messages for you? Like, like on Twitter, I always have tons of message requests and I never end up looking at them because there's uh, usually a lot of weird stuff in there. But then there's also like normal fan people that want to make contact and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'll pick this one out of the trash pile because it's golden. But really, Discord's probably the better way to get at me. Or making a tweet, like, you know, before direct messages were a thing, people actually had to tweet publicly at each other. <laughs> and that also ensures I'm not getting any weird messages. I don't know how Instagram works. I, I don't do that. But yes, Fred is definitely a harasser. He has harassed OP into submission. And yeah, all this is what I meant with it's rarely ever this simple, which is what I said back in part one. I could very well report him, and I have done so before I just kind of accepted my fate <laughs> and gave in. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's so sad. Uh, but ban evasion is a thing, and someone is very stubborn when he wants to be. Spoiler alert. And that ain't me, chief. Yeah, we know who you're talking about. Everybody's tracking. We're all on board with this. This is just how neckbeards be more often than not. And I wish it weren't that way. Sometimes, yeah, you gotta block 100 accounts, but <laughs> I will do it. It's easier for me to block an account than it is for him to make a new one. Anyways, so with that out of the way, uh, say hi to Monty. Hi, Monty. <laughs> Welcome. Let's all channel our inner Florida man 
and get into this. I have no idea what this guy looks like. However, I can probably see sound waves because from the way he types, he consists of only sugar, caffeine, and an estimated two liters of energy drinks because holy crocs, this guy is fast. <laughs> I kind of want to make him eat some Mentos and see if some foam comes out of him. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm all out of Mentos, I guess. Yeah, nobody buys Mentos anymore except to dump them in soda, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's no longer the fresh maker. But yeah, let's not presume too much about Monty just yet, uh, because he types fast. You can't hold that against somebody. I type relatively fast. Although I have spent a lot of my life in front of a computer, so uh, maybe it is good. <laughs> maybe it is accurate. Anyways, Monty wanted to roleplay as Montgomery Gator. Another Five Nights at Freddy character, and the rock and roll and Hulk of the band. In the game, you steal his claws to smash cyclone fences. Neat, right? I guess. <laughs> now, how many of you would guess this monster gator is the submissive one? You will do as I say. You will bring me what I want. Uh, <laughs> never considered it. <laughs> Didn't want to, but thank you so much. Yep, yep. Then I'm kind of curious as to why Freddy needs a mesh b-hole if he's gonna be the top the whole time. <laughs> you know what? Again, please don't answer. I don't actually want the answers to these questions. Tuesday, the 18th of January, 2022. Fred. Uh, this is Monty, my friend. Uh, say hi, Monty. Monty. Hi, I'm Monty, thanks for helping Fred. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? <laughs> what have you got yourself into? I guess he types fast means he should get a faster voice, but that's the way that I read it. One take, whatever, we're doing this thing. Fred, uh, we need help with the Monty model too. Uh, I tried to do it myself, but uh, something's not working right. Uh, please, uh, can you help? Monty, yes, please. <laughs> uh, God damn it, dude. YouTube tutorial, just anything but this. <laughs> OP size. Ah, <sighs> somehow these literal dumbasses were growing on me. They were annoying and downright creepy at times, but there was a sort of naive innocence in there. Uh, oh well, yeah, forget I said anything. Still, at least they make me laugh, so uh, let's keep milking these two noodles. Hey, phrasing. <laughs> because I've swallowed just about as much as I can take from you. Hey, phrasing. Uh, there will be no milking of the noodles around here today. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Cacti? Um, I'm still not open for not safe for work commissions. You told Monty that, right? Fred? Yeah, I just need advice. Really? OP? Oh, okay. What do you want to do? Fred? Uh, tell him, Monty. Monty, can we make it so that Monty's stomach inflates when Fred's feeling bangs him from behind? Oh, no. <laughs> it's time to release my gator dump. <gasps> it's crossing over to, like, inflation stuff. You guys, <laughs> how does it get this bad? I mean, of course, I've got proclivities of my own, but how do you travel this far down the path of kingdom? <laughs> it doesn't seem physically possible. Like, okay, yeah, let's both be animatronics and I'm gonna bang you and also <laughs> inflation. <laughs> uh, please, no more. <laughs> oh my God. Just when I thought it couldn't get any more ridiculous. <laughs> 
<laughs> OP. Dude, no! Not safe for work! I don't do fetishes, and this is definitely one of thems! No kink shame, but no kink same. Copyright trademark by Red X Industries. It's actually courtesy of Blood of Jesus slash Blood of Krampus, one of our Discord moderators, but I'm happy to bring it to the world at large. And honestly, I've since found some exceptions to that rule, like if you're, uh, you know, spouting off about it in public. Luckily, it doesn't apply here. Monty and Fred and OP are all in a group chat together, and I guess OP volunteered to be here. <laughs> Despite everything. So, the Fazbeard then launched into a cascade of texts. That could just basically be summarized as, eh, Please help me make this, I'm begging you. Eh. Pay me, I guess. No, wait, don't pay me. No, wait, I don't even know what to do in this situation. What is your sanity worth? What does your soul cost? <laughs> Write down a number on a paper and just show it to me. <laughs> uh, I know that I'm going to regret this, but the cringe is just so strong and my mama didn't raise no quitter <laughs> well thank goodness for that i suppose op i am not touching that model and as soon as you send me a screenshot i'm gonna delete it but there's two ways that you could do this <laughs> god bless you op oh uh, one is a morph and the other is an extra bone in your rig Monty, uh, which one makes it bigger? <laughs> God. He wants to be a pregnant gator man. <laughs> uh, oh. Good God, I love this series. There's nothing like it, I'll tell you that. Cacti specifies that the morph will make it bigger. And Fred says, Okay, that one, please. <laughs> God. And here we go with some learning. Cacti's 3D Guide for Dummies and Beginners. Shape keys and morphing are a way to quickly deform a mesh. In a tiny nutshell, you start with one shape and add another shape. Then the program can recognize both and deform them accordingly. If it's done correctly, you'll get a slider that goes from 0 to 100 that you can move as you please to transform your mesh as you like. Of course, you don't need to crank the slider to 100. That might be a bit overzealous, but knowing our friend Monty, <laughs> let's just see what happens. <laughs> These two naughty boys, <laughs> nasty naughty boys. Really wanted to blow up this gator like grandma's Christmas turkey with all the stuffing, huh? <laughs> God. Open up the legs. Push, push, push. Straight in the butt. Crack. Uh, I don't want to talk about stuffing anymore. Well, uh, okay, I mean, I'm not judging. I just hope to get this solved so that I can finally get back to posting my regular art without Fred blowing my inbox to literal pieces. <sighs> so, <laughs> let's get to work. <laughs> you really have just resigned yourself, OP. You're like, there's no escape. <laughs> this is my fate. I told them both to go to the object data panel and look for shape keys. As quiet as he is, Monty seems to have more brain cells and processing power than Fred. It's probably all the Red Bulls. He was a lot easier to work with. That, of course, still didn't stop Fred from buzzing in every few minutes asking, eh, how's it going? And stupidly enough, Monty kept on answering him. Fred was distracting my pupil. Sacrilege. <laughs> I think you just gotta lay it down flat for him. Like, look, this is gonna go a lot faster if, if you just sit and wait. And once it's done, you'll know. <laughs> He duplicated the model's belly and blew him up like one of those weird blueberry things that people are so fond of. Oh yeah, with all the juice leaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I cringed myself. <laughs> then he added it as a shape key alongside the actual model. 
does this even work in VR chat? Well, I don't know. <laughs> but okay, whatever makes them happy and gets both of them the hell off my back. Surprise, surprise, it worked in Blender. So they now had an inflatable mecha alligator with star-shaped glam rock glasses and Gucci croc leather leg prints. Thankfully, no silly willies were stuck in the legs this time. Uh, at least not yet. <laughs> Just you wait for it. <laughs> uh, I never thought I'd have to write something like that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> r slash brand new sentence congratulations <laughs> we're both getting the feature fred and finally <laughs> and now we can start our role play monty yes thanks op <laughs> fred yeah thanks op you saved our role play Oh, aren't I the champion of the world? <laughs> uh, you can thank me by tipping me through PayPal or whatever. <laughs> He's not going to do that. So there was a bit more of all that, but I'm cutting the slobber out for your sanity. <laughs> a few thank yous later, the Fazbeard noticed something big that they had overlooked. Their master plan had holes, or rather a certain lack of a certain hole, once again. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> OP, Monty needs a butthole, too. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Didn't you learn? Can't you do it for him? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Leave me with what's left of my sanity. Please. <laughs> I was ready to smash my head onto my table. So, grinning like a crack lunatic on a full moon night, I answered this naughty boy. After everything they did to me, I deserve some fun too. No? Yes, definitely. Make them pay for their trespasses, please. OP. Hey, Fred, uh, you know I can't do that. That would kind of be like me having a go on him, and I don't really want to make Monty cheat on you. <laughs> <laughs> that broke his poor brain. Ha! Hit him with that reverse psychology. <laughs> That's right. You're the only one that can make the butthole now, Fred. <laughs> We're brand new sentencing all over the place. That's why I love this story so much. It's gross, but it, <laughs> it tickles me pink every time. Fred. No! Felix is the only one who's allowed to have sex with Monty. OP, so I won't be doing it then. Good to know that we're drifting on the same wave. Monty, <sighs> yes. <laughs> Fred, good. And don't ever think of taking my boyfriend away from me. Oh yeah, you sure told me, bro. <laughs> I was right there and you pushed me back. I was totally going to do it for reals. Congratulations. <laughs> Looking back, neither my ex-girlfriends nor my ex-boyfriends were even remotely that clingy. A small part of me is happy that Fred is taking himself out of the dating pool. <laughs> I know I said I wouldn't judge, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah kind of hard not to. We're all sitting around having a laugh at it, so don't feel too bad for judging just a little bit. The whole channel's built on schadenfreude, for God's sake, so yeah, there's not really going to be any moral grandstanding here. <laughs> Fred? Uh, Monty still needs a butthole. <laughs> Stop saying it. <laughs> uh, OP? Okay, you know how to do that now, so do it. Just remember what you did with Freddy. Fred? Yeah, but it needs to connect to Monty's stomach uh, so we can fill him up. <laughs> oh, God. Monty butts in. Uh, can you add some cub, too? Uh. <laughs> no. Uh, you hear that sound? It's my soul leaving my body. <laughs> 
Fred. Yes, we need Felix to shoot a huge load. How can we do that? Uh, uh, well, that escalated quickly. I mean, really, that got out of hand fast. <laughs> I'm dying! OP, no! <laughs> the only correct response. Fred, uh, come on! You helped me so far. Please don't leave me hanging here. We're so close! OP, Fred, I don't know how to make that. And honestly, it's not gonna stop there, okay? Next, he's gonna wanna make the gator poop or something like that. <laughs> you give a mouse a cookie, he's gonna ask for a glass full of semen. <laughs> to shoot inside an alligator's inflated belly. <sighs> oh, God, I'm dying! Is this real life? <laughs> and, yeah, OP is being honest here. I mean, I can make things happen. I can make you a cinematic that resembles the game so much that you couldn't even tell the difference. But, I could not help these two this time. How do you even explain something as complicated as fluid simulation physics and maybe even nodes to these two dense cabbages? Never mind, I know blender physics don't work in VR chat. They wanted to roleplay, not animate. And you're basically already there, so go away. <laughs> go do it. Just bang each other already. Haven't you waited long enough? <laughs> OP, Fred, I, I can't help you because I have no idea how I would even accomplish that for myself. The only way I can think of is with physics, and of course, those won't work in VR chat, Monty. <sighs> so, we can't fill him with... A cub enema. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Uh, it's not sad. I'm so blessed that nobody walking by in VR chat has to see this. <laughs> Fred. Uh, I know it's sad, but uh, we'll make do. <laughs> Uh, Monty? Yeah. I really wanted Felix to fill up Montgomery with his big metal redacted. <laughs> Why is that redacted out of everything? <laughs> Fred? Wall, yeah. And then we can use Felix's cuff as, as cock rings and his hat as a butt plug. OP has left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Monty, uh, after we fill him up, or before, uh, Fred, after, uh, we need him nice and full. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know I can read your conversation, right? <laughs> you remember that this is a group chat, right? <laughs> I think they're hoping that uh, OP is going to join in the fun and make a Chica model or something like that. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Of course, OP 100% have to bail after this like anybody would. So, yeah, I actually closed the app at this point. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Noping the hell out. I kept it closed for, eh, like half an hour. I could absolutely see that they did some other chatting uh, while I went on my little tactical retreat. <laughs> Next time I do a deep dive in this chat, oh god, I'll have to bring some hazmat gear or something. At least they were distracted for now so that I could just lurk in silence. Fred? Hey, cacti! Can we add another hole in the Monty model? Two halves can't make a hole without a hole. Giggity, 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 giggity. What, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> OP, what? Why? 
Monty. Yeah. Uh, we need him to have a veg, too. Uh, Fred wants to go double. <laughs> <laughs> Insert dramatic gopher meme. Dun dun dun. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty late where I'm from, and this is getting pretty long. <laughs> I'll type the rest when I'm not half asleep. See y'all in part four. Also, I got some artwork because I can, and because I was bored waiting for Monty all weekend. Oh my god, dude, I absolutely love this. I save all the fan art that I get, and this is definitely going into the Red X collection. It's me, and Night of the Cacti, getting ready for the beard beatdown, but oh no, who's that behind us? <laughs> it's Fred Beard, ready to make another hole. <laughs> Uh, oh god, dude. That is awesome artwork, honestly. You even got the hole on, on, on the pants and everything. Good god. Thank you so much for that, OP. And of course, for the story. <laughs> I can't quite put into words how joyful and also disgusted it makes me every single time. It doesn't lose <laughs> its effect after so many times. And that's the most magical part of all, honestly. I appreciate you diving back into the cringe pile endlessly. You really don't have to on our behalf, but yeah, I guess after three parts, now I'm in for it. I'm invested. How is this all going to end? Probably with a VR chat. <laughs> They're gonna stream it and make OP watch. <laughs> OP, come see how your model works, huh? No, I'm good, dude. I know how it works, I can imagine, even though I don't want to. <laughs> Please just leave me alone. Oh, it's so good, man. Thank you so much for the <laughs> the cringe, the artwork, just being a cool member of the community, honestly. Let's get back to what you guys are all here for. The Faz Beard and Monty Stuff Me Daddy Gator. Oh my god, that's some good cringe out of the gate. Choke me, devil daddy, choke me! Fred Bear Fazbeard, part four. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, you got no one to hold them, no one to fold them. You, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, Kenny Rogers, anybody? <laughs> you got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Really, when we sit down to read a story like this, I'm pretty sure we all lose. Or win. Yeah, I guess I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it is me, your Zen Horror Bro, Cacti. Welcome back, user Knight of the Cacti. Indeed, happy to see you, mostly. <laughs> I'm back with more of, uh, whatever the hell this has devolved into. <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken. Although, this one is pretty tame in comparison to the other parts. This time, I took my time to edit this nonsense to be less cluttered and easier to read because part three was horrible. Really? I didn't notice. I was pretty much just like laughing my head off the entire time. I wasn't giving it much of a critical eye, which, uh, is, you know, it's hard for me to do with humor. I'm mostly caught up in the moment. I'm pretty sure that part three showed that I am not a native English speaker. Uh, by the way, you know that most of my phrasing is intentional, right? I presume nothing about neckbeard stories. <laughs> like I said, I just roll with the punches. Sometimes something strikes me as intentional, but I like to just pretend that it isn't. Like it all just lined up that way, because uh, it's sort of funnier that way, isn't it? <laughs> I'm also a little sad this will be less uh, wild than the other parts, a little more tame, because I was amping myself up for this. It's been sitting there for a few days now, <laughs> and I've just been, like, looking at it out of the corner of my eye. But yes, today's the day, and I am over-prepared, if anything. So, yeah, this is late, yet again. I ran into trouble with a toxic fandom and needed a break from everything. Name the fandom. <laughs> In all honesty, whoever's reading this, you do not owe people your time or your company. Yes, as I've said many times before, if people decide to be jerks, then just let them. 
though it was pretty embarrassing to see a grown adult dish out a, you deserve to be called slurs because, uh, because I said so, and then block me before I could reply or anything. Yeah, that's just cowardice in its purest form. If somebody does that, then you know that they were scared of what you would say in reply, and you won! You don't have to feel bad about it or tell it anywhere on the internet. Just take the W and move on. Who knew that virtual dollhouse people simulator fandoms <laughs> can be worse than the horror ones? Except, of course, for the Fazbeard. The Five Nights at Freddy's fandom has been pretty chill so far. Oh, you missed the heyday, bro. <laughs> Five years ago, it wasn't the same story. I'm gonna tell you that. And yeah, I guess Five Nights at Freddy's fandom, relatively okay. They got some weird ones, but I guess who doesn't? The real problem that I have is people that identify with a fandom. They're like, oh, I'm gonna take this creative thing that somebody else made and use it to demonstrate my own creativity by just completely copying the, th the thing that the creative person made. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You can like something. I encourage people to like all the things that they like, but never, ever become part of a fandom. And that includes Red X, all right? I'm not looking for sycophants. I'm looking for critical thinkers. Please and thank you. Anyways, that's a tangent, I guess. <laughs> Let's get back to what you guys are all here for. The Fazbeard and Monty. <laughs> Stuff me, daddy! Gator. Oh, God, that's some good cringe out of the gate. Choke me, devil daddy! Choke me! I don't like it that too much. Originally, I was just gonna continue where we left off last time, but something bigger has come up that is much more interesting than the rest of that night. To summarize what happened back then into a neat little package, the Fazbeard and Monty kept going back and forth with ideas to make their puffin' stuff dream <laughs> work in VR chat without using physics. <laughs> uh, can you have a private room in VR chat? I guess that's a question that I've been wondering. I should probably do a little research about that. Are they going to be exposing unsuspecting victims to this crap. They just walk into a lobby and they're like, whoa, I want to stab my eyes out with an ice pick now. <laughs> hey, watch this. Ah, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, my eye. That is a thing I can never unsee. Uh, in the end, they even tried additional models and accessories. Fred managed to get a condom uh, stuck in his Felix model this time. A condom, well, I'm glad they're being safe. That is wonderful. <laughs> you gotta be safe when you're banging it out on VR chat. Everybody knows that. You don't want to catch a computer virus. <laughs> uh, that's a stupid joke. <laughs> and yeah, I finally found out just how he manages to do this. Apparently, instead of just creating a new object, Fazbeard will hit the edit mode and start to duplicate mesh parts from there because the guy has no idea how to rig or add weights. He didn't merge objects to make the sad noodle from part one. He just had a go at it in the absolute worst way possible. Yeah, I take this chunk of my leg and I start molding a penis out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that's the way you want to go? All right, bro. <laughs> Live and learn, as they say. Now, that would have been a fun story, but a few days ago, dear Fazbeard came to me <laughs> with what I could only describe as terror voiced through his texts. Am I being flowery with my writing? Well, yeah, you bet. <laughs> we have to make this a fun ride somehow with all the cringe attached. No. I enjoy the embellishments. Please never stop. Of course, Monty came tagging along as well. These two are uh, stuck together now. <laughs> no, stop putting that picture in my head, please. <laughs> it doesn't come out. One is the cupcake and the other is the filling. Oh wait, poor phrasing again. Smiley face. 
Don't smiley face at me. You know exactly what you is doing. <laughs> oh, God. The sad part is I know exactly who is the cupcake and who is the filling. <laughs> we covered it in the last story. You guys remember? Uh, are you guys better at forgetting the horrors of this saga than I am? <laughs> Fred. Hey, Cacti, are you there? Please, I need to talk to you. OP, uh, what is it? Is something stuck where it doesn't belong again? <laughs> Fred, no, I've been banned from VR chat, and Monty has too. Monty, <sighs> hi. <laughs> Oh, God, why am I not surprised? So am I right that there's just an open lobby that children can wander into and see their favorite animatronics boning each other? <laughs> uh, please, anything but that. But Opie does go on to explain what it is that happened here. You see, using game-ripped models or edits of those models is... A legal gray area. I'm not entirely sure, but if that little voice in my head is right, then VR Chat has rules that forbid model theft. These are just uh, never really enforced, as far as I know. But I do know for sure that pornography is 100% not allowed in there. So, is it cruel that I had just been kind of waiting for this to catch up with these two and completely ruin their plans? <laughs> uh, they worked so hard on it, OP. Come on. That's up for you to decide. As a German guy, I love it when Red says, Schadenfreude. <laughs> and that's because this is top tier Schadenfreude, in my opinion. 10 out of 10 would recommend repeated viewings are suggested. <laughs> if you can stand it. This is some unadulterated cringe. I don't know if most people have it in themselves to consume this kind of content multiple times. But if you do, uh, hats off to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you are uh, a bigger person than I, I do suppose. But yeah, just, you know, chalk this one up as a life lesson. They tried so hard to learn how to do this thing and make their perversions a reality and then it all gets shut down <laughs> within like a day or so. Well, you learned a couple of different things. Now you know how to make the model better and you also know not to get all freaky in VR chat. <laughs> Oi. Huh? Oi, ma. <laughs> oh, God. I hope somebody will give me an answer in the comments of whether they have private rooms. I have to assume that they do, right? For my own sanity. I don't want to imagine some 10-year-old hopping on VR chat and seeing Monty Gator and Freddy Fazbear banging it out in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> this is so not okay. Uh, so we uh, jump to the text log. Monday, 24th of January, 2022. Fred? Uh, I was banned from the game. And Monty, too. Monty? <sighs> we banned us because we broke the guidelines. <laughs> <laughs> OP, so you both lost your accounts? Can't you just, like, make new ones? Monty? <sighs> Or IP blocked. <laughs> Which brings us to today's sponsor. No, never mind. I, I don't take VPN sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch is all OP really has to say. And really, what else needs saying? But again, you, you learned a lot. <laughs> you learned a lot and you're growing as a person in theory. Is is all that a thing, IP blocking? If anyone here uses VR chat and can confirm, I'd be really grateful. Yeah, I'm about to buy a VR headset just so I can experience what the hell you're talking about. Are there private rooms? I'm gonna answer all of our questions. <laughs> just as soon as I rustle up $900 to waste. 
And trust me, it would be a waste. I would play Beat Saber five times, and then that thing would be collecting dust for years. <laughs> I just kind of know how I am, and it's not a good purchase. So Fred did that weird thing where a person types and then stops, only to start typing again a second later. Rinse and repeat that for a while. Yeah, he's changing his mind about what he wants to say. It would be super interesting to read, like, the rejected sentences of people. I think there was an idea for a chat program like that once upon a time, but people found it, like, way too intrusive. <laughs> I do it all the time in Discord. I'm like, do I want to say, no, how about this? No, actually, I'm not going to say anything at all. <laughs> I just disappear. Uh, the fact that Monty was this quiet as well left me a little bit worried. They were obviously planning to do something very stupid or very disgusting. Probably even both. <laughs> and I have no little security office with huge doors in order to lock them out. <laughs> uh, it's a reference to the game! Uh, it's, this series is so fun. <laughs> there's a big part of it that makes a, a gaping crater of my soul, but there's a larger part that really does have a lot of fun with it. Pretty sure if the Five Nights at Freddy's Pizza Plex were real, then these two would scare all of the animatronics by themselves. Yeah, because they'd want to bone them. <laughs> it would suddenly become a game of two neckbeards chasing a bunch of haunted animatronics down the hall. <laughs> well, I could do nothing but watch helplessly from the monitors. <laughs> I, I might play that, actually. <laughs> OP asks, So, why have you come to me, then? I can't magically fix your IP ban and give you your accounts back, and with no VR chat, there's really no need for a model, Fred. Well, we talked about it last night, and Monty and I would like to learn how to animate uh, like you do. Monty chimes in. Fred does. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Fred. But we both agreed that it would be easier if we could both do this. Yeah, you guys really are stuck together, ain't you? <laughs> I guess they are growing in their own roundabout way, very sideways, one step at a time, but yes, they are discovering a love of animation, and I think that's something to be encouraged. I always wondered where those, like, really weird animations on the internet come from, and now I found the answer. Fred and Monty. <laughs> they did all of them for the past 30 years. Even before they knew how to do it, it was uh, their soul infesting other people in order to do it. <laughs> OP, um, I'm a model maker, not an animator. Just because I can do it doesn't mean I really know how to explain it to you guys. Besides, it's not easy. There's a reason why people pay a lot for lessons. Heck, there are specialized schools out there who do nothing but this kind of work. And Fred begs, uh, Please! <laughs> oh, well, he said, please. I guess I'll donate thousands of hours of my times to educating a neckbeard on the internet. No, bro. Go pick up a Udemy course. Speaking of which, I'd like to talk about our sponsor. No, I'm not going to do Udemy either. <laughs> It's another fake out. It's a double fake out. <laughs> OP just says, no, Fred, no. I cannot and will not help you this time. I've been doing a lot for you for free already. Much more than I probably should have. So stop it or I will block you, Fred. I'll just make a new account. <laughs> Don't be like that. OP. Oh, block evasion. Classy. Well, we've already established that he's not above that, Fred. Uh, I know. <laughs> winky face. Oh, no, not the winky face. <laughs> Lady Adelaide's rolling over in her grave. She's not even dead. <laughs> the winky face was actually an emoji. I just didn't feel like putting one on here. Yeah, Reddit emoji police is gonna come for you if you use actual emojis. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Stop! It's the emoji police! 
So are you going to be beat into submission once again, OP? Don't let it happen. You don't take this lion down. Like I said, it takes way longer to make an account than it takes to block an account. So go ahead. Waste weeks of your time if you'd like. I ain't gonna do it. So the Faz beard is even proud of his not quite legal shenanigans. I don't know what to say to that. Consider me floored, you human-shaped piece of blubber and libido, Fred. Uh, so how do I start? OP, you are on the precipice right now. If you cross this line, you've let him win, and you can never go back. Think very carefully. And OP says, Ugh, If I give you an abridged version, will you leave me the hell alone, Fred? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> OP, come on, man. Help me to help you. I've been rooting for you this whole time, man. But he decides to do it, and so we jump into the next part of Cacti's Modeling Rules for Dummies. Fine. Import your model. Go into posing mode and put your rig into the position that you would like. Then key everything into frame zero. That's fine. You're doing wonderfully. Move a few frames on your timeline thingy. Do the same with your new pose and key in what is moved as well. Do take note that facials and sliders will need to be keyed in separately. You also need a camera and light sources. Environment's pretty useful too. Mm-hmm. Yes, that should do it. Rinse and repeat until you have your animation. And how fast do you think Fredbeard picked that up? Uh, <laughs> the answer is not at all. Eh, uh, hold on, w what? How do I key? What is a frame? Bro, what is a frame? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know how to start with that, man. Dude is in, like, so far over his head at this point. <laughs> What's a frame? OP, I told you, it is not that easy. Go look up some tutorials or something, Monty. <sighs> Cacti. You're big, a little rude. <laughs> uh, OP has no response. <laughs> Nor would anyone. I addressed the question, I gave you an answer, that's about as not rude as you're gonna get from me at this point. Fred. Okay, okay. I'll go look at some tutorials. Uh, where should I look? OP, try Google. <laughs> That's a great place to start. <laughs> Wonderfully done. <laughs> you should drop him a let me Google that for you link. It's like one of my favorite websites to be snarky. Fred. But when I type in a 3D animation tutorial butt sex beginner, it just shows me porn. <laughs> well, you see, one of these keywords is not like the others. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to do with this? OP, just look up some normal beginner guides then. Learn how to move an arm before you try moving its wang, <laughs> Monty. Is there a site uh, we could look up? Uh... OP? I'm not sure. I taught myself using YouTube tutorials, which is probably not the best way to teach yourself, but it is functional at the very least. Don't want to invest money in The Great Courses Plus? Speaking of which, uh, not a sponsor. <laughs> Then yeah, you could you could scrape YouTube for something that's usable. But if I really want to learn how to do something quickly, then I will throw money at it to get a, a series of classes that's all organized. And way back in the beginning, Fredbeard was willing to pay, so I know he's got money. Why not pay for the animation classes, right? Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Hello? Anybody? Uh! <laughs> Fred? Okay, let's do this then. We'll be back later. They'll be back later. <laughs> oh, come on. You promised to leave me alone if I helped you one last time. See? I agree with your comment section, Red. Fred has got the attention span of a goldfish. Oh, Fazbeard, if you weren't this amusing, 
I would have removed you from my life already entirely. But we're just having way too much fun, both from Fazbeard's derpery and from OP's suffering. It's just a beautiful thing, a, a melange of flavors in your mouth. <laughs> I know you're gonna love it. Ah, uh, this one definitely wasn't as cringy. Thank goodness for that. After uh, cream-filled crocodiles, <laughs> I don't know if I can handle much more. So uh, we got a little break today, and that was nice. Like I said, I did prepare myself, looking at Noah gets the boat and whatnot. And honestly, I probably would never do those subreddits on the channel because they're just way too sad, dude. <laughs> it is just like the most depressing news articles and videos that you've ever seen in your life. Even for like Patreon exclusive videos, nah, I, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> it's just not something that vibes with me. But what does vibe with me is growth and self-improvement, and it seems like Fazbeard is doing that in his own really weird, disgusting, roundabout way. So I'm not sure if I should tell him to stop or just be like, okay, well, at least he's learning something. <laughs> he's doing something with his life, so uh, hooray. <laughs> Even if a lot of it does involve harassing OP between every single step. But then, at the very least, we get the updates, which uh, I can't complain about. I do hope that we'll see another story again quite soon. But we're friends! What kind of friend are you? <laughs> I thought we were friends. Fred Bear Fazbeard, part number five, The Final Night. Oh my god, it's really happening! We made it to the Five Nights at Freddy's finale! <laughs> That's right, John Travolta. We could never do it in the game, but we'll do it on Reddit. No worries. Hi, hi! Uh, Zen Horror Bro, Cacti here. Hello, user Knight of the Cacti. Lovely to see you. Hopefully not for the last time ever, ever. I don't wish any more cringe encounters upon you. However, if you do chance upon one, I hope that you'll uh, bring it to us, because... Lord knows, I've just enjoyed this so much. <laughs> Far more than I should have, I think. Some of you in the comments have been calling OP a pushover. I do seem like that, don't I? But mind you, I'm doing this simply to get a kick out of it. As stated before, I only want to milk the cringe. The thing is, I just don't really want to see it end. Why end it before we can get some laughs? Although this might be the final slice of that cream cake. Cream cake? Is that different than cheesecake? <laughs> You'll see why once you start reading. Also, this one is safe for work for once, so make of that what you want. I mean, it's safe for work until we get to the song parody, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I do come at OP. I'm like, please let it end, but that's mostly to add to the tension. He did explain pretty well up front exactly what it is he's doing there. And he's purposely milking cringe to nourish all of us. So, big tip of my hat, not a fedora, to OP. <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and jump into the story. So, late post, again. I'm busy with commission work and some private projects. Hell yeah, you know this guy ain't gonna pay you anything, so... <laughs> Put him on the back burner, that's fine. Friday, the 4th of February, 2022, Fred says, Cacti, Monty isn't talking to me anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Cacti has nothing to say. Fred continues, I made a new OC, and Monty didn't reply. Uh, I think he's mad. Cacti, ah, uh, well, give it some time. You know, people can't always be online, as much as we may want that sometimes, <laughs> Fred. But it's been days. He's put me on red, and, and he's ghosting me everywhere. He's even ignoring my calls. Boyfriend trouble. How juicy. <laughs> Uh, oh, I don't know if I really want to get involved. I'm not your relationship therapist or anything like that. But yes, okay. Tell me all about it so I can spill the tea a little bit later to an audience of thousands. <laughs> uh, 
finally, something that isn't 3D model cringe. But the question is, why exactly should I care? <laughs> Cacti, Fred, I'm not your therapist. If this isn't about a 3D model, then just leave, Fred. Hey, but you're the only one I can talk to. Oh gosh, I wonder why. <laughs> oh man, he doesn't have a big circle of friends, it's just him and Monty against the world. Part of me wants to cheer for those two crazy kids. You know they're gonna make it. I mean, one way or the other, I guess. And by make it, I mean a creepy model that will get them banned from VR chat. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll bite. This is about some kind of OC that he's made, so... Maybe some other kinky thing that was just too much for that other dum-dum. I've seen enough Mary Sue's to know that they are a whole other kind of cringe to laugh at, and that would be very fine cringe indeed. Oh dear lord, I was kind of both right and wrong. I mean, I gotta presume that both of their characters are Mary Sue's in their own way. I don't think neckbeards have what it takes to make a nuanced and engaging character. It's probably just a fight about who gets to play as the cream-filled crocodile. <laughs> Freddy's overplayed. I want to be Monty now. How dare you? <laughs> Just punch each other. Get it over with. That's what I'm here for. Fred says, Well, you see, I made Felix a brother. He's the reincarnation of Michael Afton. It's sort of like the glam Mike theory, but <laughs> way more sexy. <sighs> He works in the adult location of the pizzeria, located in Mexico. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is way deeper than the Five Nights at Freddy's lore could have ever seemed on the surface. I'm sure people in the comments will tell me who Michael Afton is. I could Google it, but I don't know, man. I don't want to waste brain cells on that. <laughs> Ah, uh, a pizzeria, adult pizzeria located in Mexico. Yeah, sure, why not? They took over one of El Chip's buffet locations. I had canon that Michael is half British and half Mexican. His sprite has tan skin, so he's biracial for sure. And after that, Monty ghosted me. Well, this seems like about the dumbest fight in the world. Fighting with your boyfriend over the racial heritage of a completely made-up character. <laughs> because his sprite has tan skin. Why half British and Mexican? He could be a tan white guy. He could be a very light black guy. <laughs> he could be Indian or something. This whole thing is already really stupid and I hate it a lot. <laughs> Now, Monty didn't strike me as some sort of racist. I mean, sure, he was a hyper-typer naughty boy, but he wasn't that kind of nasty. Something smelled very fishy here, and I don't think it was Monty's gator breath, if you know what I'm talking about. Because alligators eat fish. <laughs> yes, yes. God, I'm so conflicted about doing, like, an old-timey informational voice for this one. Okay, we'll do it, whatever. <laughs> and now, some info on Five Nights at Freddy's Law from Cacti's handy hints on uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Law. <laughs> Michael is the son of the big bad evil guy, William. Old Will is very British, very murdery, and very allergic to death. That's what makes him such a good big bad evil guy, don't you know? Anyway, while there are little to no canon details on Mrs. Afton, most fans just don't care or bother to make stuff up. She exists, but unless she's actually needed for a theory or a fanfic, she is mostly forgotten, overshadowed by a husband, pregnant and barefoot in front of the stove, bang, boom, pow, right to the moon. <laughs> God. Bang, shoot. <laughs> the typical background side character. You know the type. The animatronics are much more interesting to most fans anyways. So is like old Will the one that made the pizzeria? 
Oh, God damn it. I, <laughs> why am I even asking these questions? Please tell me nothing. Please tell me no more. I, I've had quite enough Five Nights at Freddy's lore. The blender stuff, super interesting. The lore stuff, oh, God. <laughs> I can't get it out of my head now. There is now a cluster of neurons in my brain that can tell you that old Will is the big bad guy of Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> you would have asked me a few minutes ago, I would have said it's Freddy. God damn it. <laughs> OP says, Fred, think very carefully. Could there be anything on that reference that might have offended Monty? Fred? Hey, no, it's a normal reference. Here, you can look for yourself if you don't believe me. I don't want to look. <laughs> Take it away. I wish I could include the actual image here. I really, really wish because nobody would believe me that this shit is real. Like, I can't. <laughs> Even if I dislike Fred, I don't want to reveal his art style and his signature. I even changed his OC's name to Felix to keep this beard anonymous, as some of you have already guessed. And some people have actually gone out, tried to find the beard's OC, so it's probably a good thing that you did, OP. I can't condone witch hunting of any kind, no matter how weird the beard is. Quite simply, being weird is not illegal. <laughs> if he did something illegal, then okay, come through the Discord, we'll talk about it. I can't talk about it on YouTube. Actually, Discord might kick up some dirt too. All right, just don't let me know about it. <laughs> I don't condone it, is, is the final word. And OP agrees with this point, saying, if you find this beard in the wild, please don't bother him. Point and laugh from the sidelines, but do not poke him. The Fazbeard isn't a good person, but nobody deserves to become a trolled lol cow, and his style is very recognizable once you've seen it. There's a special way that he draws noses that is, uh, let's call it unusual. Uncanny would be another word that could fit here. Exceedingly well put, OP. I, I don't want to see anybody become a lol cow. Even the worst of OPs that have come on this channel, I don't go after them outside of the post. Have I considered it? Oh yeah, sure. You can go over to the community tab and see the discussion there, but at the end of the day, I did decide to take a stand and just leave it to what's in the post 100% of the time. Unless it's illegal. But nothing that Fazbeard has done is, is really illegal. Just an annoying weirdo. <laughs> Anyways, back to the plot. Fred, Faz, frickin' Fazbeard, seriously put, Father, British, <laughs> cringe, and Mother, Mexican, very hot. <laughs> On his reference sheet. <laughs> uh... Oh, now we're getting down to the, the skinny of it, aren't we? This is like the definition of an open and shut case. Okay. <laughs> you called all British people cringe. Done and done. Is Monty British? Well, Monty, if you look at his Instagram profile, has a big Union Jack flag right beside his username. Well, herp de derp <laughs> I guess the Faz Beard doesn't know much about country flags either. <laughs> How could he miss that? Never mind the creepy vibes that I got from that other half of his. How could he miss something that was that obvious? Like I said, my shot in the dark is that he doesn't know what the hell a British flag looks like. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe he did it because he was in some fandom or he's into sports perhaps? I don't know. What I do know is that Monty liked that flag enough to put it where all of Instagram could see it. Telling your boyfriend that the thing he likes so much is cringe is uh, probably not going to go well. This is just my own little opinion, of course. I mean, cringe isn't the worst thing that you can call something. In a lot of cases, there's a fine line between cool and cringe. Cool is being yourself, doing what you want to do, not giving any regard to other people who might judge you for it. I think that's really cool. Cringe is doing whatever you want to do while also not being confident about it. They're sort of hard and fast definitions. I'm sure there's some overlap there. 
But as far as my own personal definition goes, yeah. If you're not paying people no never mind, I think that's cool as hell. LP asks, hey, Fred, do you know if Monty is perhaps from the UK? Fred, uh, he's from Texas, but his parents are. Why? <laughs> OP, well, on your reference sheet here, you called British people cringe. It could be that Monty took that uh, personally, maybe. Fred, <laughs> no way. I just put that there because William Afton is a jerk. Monty knows the lore. <laughs> uh, an unfortunately large amount of people seem to know the lore. And I don't know why I gotta sit here and explain this. Just because one person is a jerk or cringe doesn't mean that you should call an entire nation of people <laughs> all jerks or all cringe. Broad brush to get the fence painted faster, but yeah, it doesn't really work in all cases. <laughs> OP says, are you sure about that? Like, really, really sure, Fred? Yes, I'm sure. Monty just ghosted me for no reason. <laughs> okay, then, OP. I'm not your marriage counselor. You come to me for modeling stuff. I helped you for free, and now there's really nothing more for me to do. Sorry, but this isn't my mess, Fred. But we're friends. What kind of friend are you? <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> OP, what? Since when did that happen? Dude, you are a business contact at best. <laughs> Uh, OP laying down the freaking law, and I'm living for it, Fred. You can't leave me too. First Monty, and now you. Uh, fuck you all. Ah, uh, yes, when you can't classify the bridge as you'd like it classified, why not burn it to the ground? <laughs> uh, this is one of the only people that seems to tolerate you, Fazbeard. I probably wouldn't drop an F-bomb in his face. How about thank you? How about I'll put some consideration into what you said? No? None of that? <laughs> I guess I can't be too surprised. Wednesday, the 9th of February, 2022. Five days later, I believe. I thought that that was it. Peace. Peace at long last. But before Fred went nuclear, he left me with one last big text. Oh yeah, feed me that cringe, baby! <laughs> One that I thankfully made a screenshot of before he deleted his entire Instagram for good. Yeah, you outlasted, OP. You overcame, OP. I don't know if this is necessarily the way that I wanted to see Fazbeard taken down, but... <laughs> I guess it's as good as anything else. You might ask, OP, why did you screen cap it? Well, I just kind of find it compulsory to make screenshots all the time whenever I see something cool. I'm not like a psychic or something like that. Was it cool or was it cringe? I guess we're the ones that are left to decide. And so I present to you Fred Fazbeard's last will and testament. Can I call it that? Hell yeah, I'm calling it that. <laughs> Let's all call it that. I hereby declare our friendship over. Uh, from this point onward, Mr. LK Cacti will never again be allowed to text me or be in my presence ever again. Uh, should we cross paths, I shall show him the cold shoulder. Oh no. <laughs> it's worse than we feared. <laughs> Should he try to talk to me, well, I'll show him how a true gentleman deals with his foe. Oh yeah, Fazbeard studied the blade. You better watch out, OP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's still calling it a friendship. Didn't we make it pretty clear? <laughs> That's not what this is at all. Cacti. I am very displeased by your actions and how you've treated me. 
I did nothing wrong. Yeah, that's self-reflection. It just ain't there, is it? <laughs> the reference image I made that drove both you and Monty away from me is not bad. You two are just jealous of my character creation skills. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that's what it is. You've cut me to the quick, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, I wish to inform you that should you ever attempt to steal my ideas, I'll call my lawyer and we will settle this in court. Do not provoke me, little child, because it will not end well for you. Sincerely, Frederick Fazbeard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude, I would love to see you defending your plagiarism in court. Your Honor, clearly this asset that I lifted is now mine because I cut a butthole into it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think so. This is more like, uh, if you continue to provoke me, then I'll pay your lawyer fees. <laughs> dude would lose so hard. And that's if he even has the money for a lawyer. And that's if OP would ever steal anything that this beardo created, which is <laughs> snowball's chance in hell, dude. <laughs> I just love that last will and testament. Yeah, don't steal my great ideas. <laughs> You're the only one that thinks they're anywhere near great. <laughs> uh, oh, at least you are rid of him, though. Sometimes the trash takes itself out. And good lord. <laughs> I gotta say good riddance. And yeah, half of the comment section may now celebrate because this is it. I don't think anybody's gonna celebrate. We are all going to mourn this story. It was so beautiful. It's five parts. How did you not plan this out? <laughs> he really quit. And he deleted everything. The chats are gone. The pictures, gone. Heck, even the tumbler that he used to poke me on there is now gone. I'm free and happily posting on all my socials again. Cool. <laughs> and honestly, I'm just a tiny bit bittersweetly sad that it's all over. But the truth is, all good things must come to an end, right? Right you are, OP. And I'm double pleased that coincidentally, because I was lazy and cut so much out of parts three and four that this ends with part five. So we can now call this mini saga Five Chats with Fazbeard. <laughs> it's so perfect. It's so delicious. I do hope that both Monty and Fazbeard are doing well in their own lives. They were definitely a couple of weird dudes, but at least they had each other and now it seems like they have no one, which honestly does make me sad. OP did get left alone, which is the good part. But yeah, I can only hope that Fazbeard and Monty will find their way back to each other. Either that or throw themselves into modeling and animation and really make something great out of their passions. Because I think it is a true passion and both of them could probably use that passion to fuel something and learn something and do great things with it. Or more likely just make some cringy NSFW animated porn. <laughs> <laughs> Who can really say? But either way, uh, I hope that they are out there somewhere living their best lives. And uh, with that out of the way, I guess we'll jump into that song parody that I promised you. I definitely did do it. <laughs> so let's see what it's about right now. Toes in this house, Dory toes in this house, Dory toes in this house, Dory toes in this house. I said certified alpha. Bathe once a week. Pheromone strong, make my ladies undies leak. Woo! Yeah, 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 
Yeah, she fucking with this wet ass beard. She a vacuum, she be sucking on this wet ass beard. On them chads, she be cucking with this wet ass beard. Chicken tendies help me recharge. Make my Mountain Dew extra large. Shove those Cheetos in my face. Make my manly bot enlarge. Mount my scooter, I'm gonna ride. To the card shop, I go inside. Nerd girl booty, catching my eyes. Manly presence, making legs wide. Play my magic, brought my deck. Turn my opponent into a wreck. The fuck? They just beat me? These bitches cheated. What the heck? Make me shout. Make me scream. Flip the table. Cause a scene. They drag me out. Takes a team. Whatever. They're just fucking mean. Howl at me. Scowl at me. Then throw a towel at me. Get your ass in the showers. What they growl at me. But you betas don't know that I'm about to be hitting up your girls to come and play some wild with me. Grab my chips. Grab my crotch. Got some hentai. I want to watch. If these waifus had a taste of my cock, they'd be sticking to me like scotch. Get your floaties and bikinis for this wet ass beard. They'd be hiring a lifeguard for this wet ass beard. All the cosplayers and e-girls made this wet ass beard i gotta start an only fans for this wet ass beard look i got a fedora i got a big sword i got admin status on discord i got trash dash i love to hoard in my beard nest have you explored some dnd that's where i'm headed protagonist role i'm gonna get it if the dm says that he won't let it gonna take my character sheet and i shred it i don't want to die i want to crit i want to slay i want to hit i want to seduce the dragon wait and that one fuck this shit my fashion is fire, black trench coat is on me, anime t-shirt that my mama bought me, just stained jeans, too tight for my salami, whip it out for a girl, now her boyfriend caught me. Your honor, I'm a good man, white knight, gentleman, this is all completely accidental, man. You can tell the girl is just way too mental, man, her shitty boyfriend is just a judgmental, man. The truth is, I'm a werewolf too, I need a mate and I've chosen you. I'm not too scared to fight with your boo, but only with red contacts and a full moon. If I don't smell, then I'm not well. Axe body spray, pour it on me like hell, bring the ladies under my spell, go in and out of them like a Taco Bell. Toes in this house yeah 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 you fucking with the wet ass beardy get a tissue swipe some drool off this wet ass beard sit down and make a stool out this wet ass beard now from the top make it drop for this wet ass beard they all know that i could get it with this wet ass beard i'm talking wob 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 that's a wet ass beard they'll go make a reddit post about this wet ass beard dory toes in this house 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 yeah, I, I am pretty hungry. <laughs> <laughs> hungry for cringe, I mean. <laughs> Thank you so much to Assassin Pug Jerry for writing this out all those months ago. It really took me a long time to get my nerve up. Again, if you want to hear it with the backing music, I did pin it in general chat in the Discord. I don't know if it really belongs in general chat, but I don't think the mods are going to come after me for it. <laughs> It's fine. It's it's within the context of the channel, is it not? I do try to follow my own rules uh, most of the time. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> God damn. This, this video has been quite something. This whole series has been quite something. And I am so glad to see it seen out musically the way that it was meant to be. I guess we could also consider it like an early Valentine's Day gift, if you would like that. You and your loved one can sit back and listen to Wet Ass Beard together. Aww, <laughs> sounds wonderful. Uh, I do hope that you've enjoyed this episode, friends. If you did, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. Maybe share it around. Think very carefully before you do. <laughs> But uh, if you decide to, then heck yeah, high five, big brain play. We got all kinds of plugs, uh, my Teespring, my and my wife's channel, Mr. and Mrs. Red X, my Amazon affiliate link currently goes to my microphone, but if you click through, buy anything else on Amazon and get kicked back a few bucks, which is pretty nice. We've also got playlists, uh, you know, neckbeard stories, legbeard stories, RPG horror stories, whatever you want. And of course, we've got the podcasts. I'm on Spotify, iTunes, you know, basically everywhere that podcasts are uh, not sold, given away <laughs> for freezies. You're welcome for that. Little Red X on the go. We've also got my social medias, Twitter, Discord, Facebook. Hey, come on through. I'd love to see you. 
We've also got my Patreon and my gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous patrons. I'd like to thank them as I do every episode. So thank you Jerry, Jerry much. <laughs> Roder Waits, Camille Sarah, Logan Wolf, Arr, Arr, Conrad Inge, Captain Clown, Jerry Hong Kong, Eric W, Twisted Child, Sarah Water Wash, Cinema Susie, Four Old Lang Sign, Fire Drake. I rarely wants to change the name, but is too proud of the Jerry spelling. Give us some suggestions in the comments if you would. Jerry the Pirate, Yar. <laughs> Silent Revolver, the original Jerry, Jerry, Jerry's Kitsune, Satori, 211 Jerry, The Return of Jerry, a jury of jubilantly juggling Jerry's, a Justy Jargonian Jerry. <laughs> what if it was all J names from now on? Oh boy, that's the longest tongue twist you ever seen. Alunia Demonist. The Althea Blue, Ananaki, Assassin Pug Jerry, Bang Bang, Atheist Jerry, He's So Euphoric, Aurora Wildheart, Bailey Joy, Bearded Jerry, Watch out for that guy, Bitch <laughs> Gremlin, Blade the Hero, Blip Bloop Jerry, Commander J Tank, Confederate Jew, <laughs> I don't know why that gets me, Dayton Can't, Bro, why you gotta throw me five bucks a month just to make me sad? You know, I'm not just a clown up here, I, I got feelings too, alright? <laughs> Dennis Dayton, Dinosaur Nightlight, Disposable Waifu, Dr. Larks, Emergent Jewel, Aaron Lennox, Fell down this pipe running from a walking mushroom thing with eyes, I ended up in an attic, it smelled like marbles in here, it's Mr. J, <laughs> it smells like marble. Uh, Frozen Over Studios, Gypsy, Adrian BR. I can't help falling in love with Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. I'm Slim Jerry. Yes, I'm the real Jerry. Oh, you want the Slim Jerry? Such as imitating. Soon I'm going to have to sing the whole patron list. <laughs> Irish Pirate, top of the barn into you. Itchy nuts. Just scratch him, bro. A Pim MJ Crisp. Yes, you have to say the whole thing. JM Coon, Jennifer Schaefer, Jerry Smith Barber to services. <laughs> I still don't know what that means. Jerry Blacktail, Jerry Nice, Jerry Evil, Jerry the Outlaw of the Truck of Hong Kong. Jerry was a race car driver, but my super's in the shop, so he stays undefeated. That's all right. I know you get back on the road real soon. John Hero, John Jerry Jingleheimer Schmidt. Oh my God, that's that's actually my name too. Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> Simbufa, because if you're boofing, it's free. Judge Jerry, I am the beard. KJW, Kajow, Kruhi, Miss Monday, Lord Jerry, uh, Lady Dix, who is still a Jerry, just uh, a boring one. <laughs> King Jerry, Melgar the Destroyer, Metal Vector, definitely not Arthur Henry, I've never heard of that guy, Mr. Carrot 797, Mikola Dimikiev, aka Vegan Jerry, Natari, Nightmare Jerry, Orgami Jerry Steve, Patron Saint of Chicken Nuggies, Saint Jerry, Phantom of the Pines, Jerry Kins and Jerry Beth, Ramside Lacrimates, Rose Jerry Miller, TSM Kirby, Sarita the Lolita, Saucy Octopus, Saw, <laughs> Silo Imp, Slipped on a Marble and Into the Neck Being World, Welcome to My World. <laughs> Staples, aka Jerry Yates, Stephanie Goodner, Synaptic Boomstick, Brilliant Tamago, Teddy the Police, Ten Ton Monster, The One True Fusky, Tom, oh, but it's the Jerry on the inside, the Counts, Church, Church, <laughs> Viking Jerry, Wiki Tack, hey, welcome to the foe, friend, Will Mags, Comrade Mooney, Kira, you're a wizard, Jerry, <laughs> Redwin, Naga Viper, Cy Jerry the Cyborg, Saints Blessing, a normal Jerry, Yam, a uh, Jam, you know, I worship typos, God of misspelling. <laughs> I understood what you meant. That's the magic of it. Hunter of Jerry's devour of all things tasty. It is Tom, because Tom and Jerry never get along. Admiral T Tank, Emerald Alder, an unfortunate Nookie survivor. Yeah, we know it. That's Greeny. <laughs> Atomic Jerry Zilla, break of the Tom Army, AZ, Babsy Coon, Barbushka's Radiator Jam, Bartender Kirlia, Blue Dubs, Broken Spine Horseradish, the original different Jerry, <gasps> this cake Jerry. <laughs> California Jerry Girl, Chevron 7 Locked, Corporal Admiral, Princess Furry Warrior, Woo Jerry, Crypt Titties, Defon Jerry, Dopamine Dane Jerryus, because we got an OD, Electrical Fennec, I gave her both inches. <laughs> and then she asked if I had any single friends. Yeah, I got friends in the single digits if that's what you're talking about <laughs> ghost of alpha he cannot hmt mayor holy berry jerry hydra jerry solman's yeah carrying on the legacy janitor jerry where do all these marbles keep coming from <laughs> it's a conspiracy jeffrey jeffrey Geralt of rivia <laughs> jerry and tom versus happy new year's webby apocalypse jerry the sussy baka jerry's mom has got it going on jerry aldo rivera jerry bean jerry roxas jerry's sdi pit maneuver the band to save the marbles oh that's where it came from jerry role-playing game <laughs> featuring the obligatory furry player character freddy fazbear <laughs> Oh no! I'm exiting this game post haste. Judge Jerry and Executioner, uh, Kid Marvelous, King Tom, Smasher of Jerry Zillas, Kids Kid, Life of Guardian, Little Ann Woods, Lucia Lovecraft, M M Machia, CD. Maybe next time, Milk Fit, Miss Duchess, Not Invisible Angel, I see you. One leg Jerry wants to be a pirate. Oh, join the crew, me hearty. <laughs> or give me Cam. Ghosty, Raptor Art. She's my Jerry Pie. Go drink a Mountain Dew, what a bit surprise. Grin so good, make a grown man cry. Sweet Jerry Pie. Sheep, Jerry, <laughs> Snom, Jerry, that's a snary, if you didn't know. <laughs> Spoonie the Rogue, Spoopy, Scary, Jerry Ton, Techno Dubs, the Gaslighting Jerry, hey, help me, I'm the real red, uh, Terry stole my channel. Yeah, you didn't know what to do with it anyways, I got this, <laughs> the Necro Jerry Con, the original Jerry, not, to Infinite Jerry and beyond, uh, definitely. Tuna Fish Jerry, managed to escape from Admiral Tom's Tuna Cannery, keep running. Tom, promise Jerry swears, oh, no bad Jerry's Tom, be a good boy, just fact, no Swiss, it's place size, uh, go look it up, I mean, a uh, red beard story, red beard story, whatever, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, and also, thank to my one dollar patrons oh my goodness oh those patrons if you see them in the comments you should definitely say thank you for keeping this channel afloat during the dark months on youtube which are january and february if you don't know <laughs> so thank you guys all so much 
I do hope some other people will consider signing up on the Patreon, but if you can't do it right now, don't sweat it too hard, friends. I just appreciate you coming on through, hanging out with me, and I hope that you'll come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow. In order to do so, you need to keep yourself safe out there, wash your hands, but also take some time out and do something that you personally enjoy today. Maybe like, uh, watch some more Red X videos. Please? <laughs> Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, and you definitely, definitely deserve it. I shall see you in the next one, and until then, friends, a bye bye